What's up, nerdlings? Oh, nerdlings. Do you nerd? Except maybe this time you shouldn't. For embarrassing stuff? Do you nerd? We all nerd, do we not? <laughs> Yeah, so we were tagged, and I gotta say, I was kind of waiting for this to happen. <laughs> I was wondering who was gonna nail us this time around. It was Sega Blocks. So, our buddy Sega Blocks, great channel, awesome guy. Go check him out, please. Let him know that you saw what embarrassed us. So, you came to see what embarrasses him with his list of embarrassing items in your collection. Let's go. Let's go do you nerd. Let's get a couple in on this. Let's see what Tom and Lacey had to say about this. Now, to be fair, I mean, we collect the things that we love. Yes. So we're not exactly embarrassed about yeah. this stuff. We, it, we just want it. Yeah. It's stuff that, like, I wouldn't necessarily run around showing off like crazy, but it's stuff that I might be, like, giggly and be like, yeah, check this out, haha. -ha. But, yeah, let's not linger on it. <laughs> yeah, more of a laugh. Uh, I mean, you know, come on. We all have something like a little, uh, little bonus one. Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within, the movie that single-handedly ruined Square's film company, Aww. at least for a while. Whoops. <laughs> Who's first? Do I go first? Do you go first? You can go first. Okay. You know, I have a sealed, factory sealed copy of Chrono Cross because back in the day, my buddy and I, we loved our RPGs and we both bought a copy of Chrono Cross, except he didn't want to leave his at his house because his little brother might break it or delete a save or something. And we got to thinking, you know what? Chrono Trigger is worth a lot of money. <gasps> if we keep one of these sealed, it'll probably be worth a lot of money someday. Totally correct. That didn't happen. <laughs> so my copy is still factory sealed. This is probably one of very, very few sealed games in our collection. The fact that this game has been re-released in a myriad of forms, you know, uh, the PlayStation Network store had it for a while. Obviously we got a re-release of the game anyway. So there's no reason for me to open it since I can still play it whenever I want. And it's just um, kind of an embarrassing reminder of how off the mark I was with that. <laughs> Swing and a miss, Tom. Woo! Past Tom doesn't know anything. <laughs> Embarrassing stuff. I gotta say, man, I have brought some action figures. Of course. And these are representative of Mr. Ryan Reynolds' best roles he's ever oh, done ooh. and that he's the most proud of. Got me thinking now. This is my most prized possession. Remember, he asked for the super suit, right? Pudding! Pudding! Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, let's face it. I, uh, I did buy this one on purpose because uh, it's Ryan Reynolds and I loved it and I went and saw the movie and I was like, yeah, this movie's so much fun, it's so great! And then I realized it wasn't afterwards. But I bought this thinking, woohoo, Ryan Reynolds is a superhero and you can see his face. So that's why I actually still like this action figure because you can see his face. And then this one I kind of bought on a goofy whim because after watching the actual movie Deadpool, the good one, and he makes that joke in there about how this is his most prized possession. Well, of course I had to buy Ryan Reynolds' most prized possession. Funny enough though, even though it was a terrible movie and it was a terrible version of Deadpool, this action figure goes for a lot of freaking money. Like, I think you got it for a I, good deal, didn't you? I had you? to pay $30 for this, and that was a really good deal because the majority of them were $60 to $80. Jeez. Yeah, and he is broken. I lost one of his, oh, I lost one of his swords. So there you go. There's my embarrassing action figures that I have <laughs> because I usually have to explain to people why I have this one. And please don't make the super suit green or animated. Well, I mean, so far, this is a pretty good mix because, you know, the things we collect, I mean, we, we collect movies mm -hmm. and games, action figures, and, uh, you know, the next thing is something to do with comics. Yes, but here's your warning, ladies and gentlemen. The next parts of this video from here on out will be not safe for work or young children's eyes. Yeah, so, so, just FYI. so we're going to give you just a moment. There's no turning back, baby. 
Peggy 18. All right. Welcome, nerdlings, to Do You Perv? Ooh. That's I, our other channel, by the way. I collect Zelda stuff. I collect all the Zelda stuff. I collect all the Zelda stuff. All the Zelda stuff. <laughs> so way back in the day, I found out there was a adult comic of Zelda. And I had to have it for the collection because I liked collecting weird oddball stuff anyway and the fact that it was something Zelda. It does get rather graphic. <laughs> this isn't exactly light reading or anything. It just sits on a shelf. A and high shelf. Collects <laughs> dust and everything. But it was the simple fact that it was something so off the wall. And I mean, I got this probably late 90s, early 2000s, I think. So back then, especially to think of something like this existing, blew my mind. But yeah, we definitely keep this on a very high shelf that you either have to be looking for it or we point it out to you because it's definitely something we don't want a little kid to come into the house and be like, ooh, comics! Mommy, what's this? Bye. I love you. I love you, Mommy. I love you, I like it, I love you, who I'm touching. Who are you? Lyra? Oh, you're the new baby, right? Yeah. Hey, that's the jelly button. All the Zelda stuff. Send me all the Zelda stuff, please. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> the next thing that I am bringing to the table is a lovely pillow. Oh, you know. it's a it's a plushie. You Look, collect plushies. I know it's kind of like a plushie. Oh, it's one of those, you know, what do they call these pillows? Because it's bigger than a body pillow. So I love Rosalina. She is my favorite character from Mario, um, and I just love her. And Tom got her for me for my birthday, and she's just really great. So yeah, that's that's why I have her. Oh oh oh, we weren't supposed to turn her around. So yeah. Yeah, this is this is the pillow we keep in the bedroom. Um, we have fun with this pillow. Tom gave this to me for my birthday in front of my parents. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm opening it, and let me tell you, this is the only side I showed to my to my parents, and they're like, "Oh, is it the same on both sides?" And I'm like, "Yep, yep, it is." And then I promptly folded it right back up. It is it is not. <laughs> and now they're watching and oh, realize yeah. that you lied. Yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry, Mom and Dad. <laughs> what the hell? Are you recording, Paula? <laughs> but anyway, we saw that at a convention one year and thought it was really cute and fun, but I like the rosy dressed side. <laughs> <laughs> she only wears the uh, the night clothes on weekends, yeah. and, and the rest of the time she's flipped over in the formal way. <laughs> okay, okay, so, wow, whew, it's getting a little, a little racy in here, isn't it? Yep. Mercy! Well, there's one more thing. This is all her. Yeah. So, there was one year, we took, it, my family and I took a trip to Italy, and we went to Pompeii. Well, I don't know if you know anything about your history, but Pompeii was very, very much known for the nightlife. Like, yes. the night life. Before they were known for the volcano, yeah, the they volcano were known part. for something else. We're in Pompeii. And it's Volcano Day. They were the Vegas of the Mediterranean, basically. Everybody went there to, you know, go and have fun and everything. Well, on the ground, there were the street tiles and they would have phallic symbols on the street tiles and whichever way it was pointing that literally pointed you from the docks to the brothels so kind of a neat piece of history that was really cool you know the guide tells us about this well when we're all done with it while we're waiting to get on the bus there's this gypsy lady that comes up to me i don't speak italian at all yeah. brian brian let me handle this uh scusi babbit a boopy che cosa peter what are you doing speaking italian babbit a boopy and I'm not even sure she was speaking Italian, but she starts speaking to me in a very, very weird, you know, language I'm not used to and shoving something in my face. Um, phrasing? Well, I had heard horror stories of, like, curses from gypsies and whatnot. 
So I bought whatever she was shoving in my face. Hey, phrase it! Because I was very, very nervous about not buying what was from her. And at the time I was like, oh, this is a fun souvenir because I'm in Pompeii. After I realized what I bought, I was kind of embarrassed about it. What's wrong with you? All right, are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? It's flying, by the way. So here we go. <laughs> uh huh. Pompeii she kind of held it like this. <laughs> Phrasing. So I wasn't really exactly sure what I bought when I bought it. Pompeii at its finest. So Pompeii at its finest, and it's detailed. <laughs> <laughs> this also sits up on a very high shelf that no one else gets to see. <laughs> well. It was a great souvenir of Italy. There you go. I mean, <laughs> what more would you want from Do You Nerd? You, you, you saw video games, comics, movies, toys, various toys, yeah, and plushies, yeah. so. Are you doing it? Are you collecting what you love right now? You should do it. You should definitely do it. Have we burst your bubble that we're not as innocent as you think we are now because of the three of our our embarrassing stuff? But the thing <laughs> is, I mean, you know, even though they're kind of embarrassing items, you know, some just for fun, uh, it's the simple fact that it's fun to collect oddball things, yes. you know, uh, things like toys that honestly you wouldn't expect there to be a toy of. Like seriously, who ever thought this version of air quotes, Deadpool would yeah. have an Honestly, action figure. I didn't know that was a thing until after the movie came out. And so apparently it was an action figure before the, the, the good Deadpool came out. This I did buy when the movie came out. And I mean, late 90s, early 2000s, who knew that this kind of thing existed over in Japan? Except maybe Nerdlayer. He totally knew. <laughs> he probably has five copies. I'm actually missing an issue. Volume 3, The Cockerina of Joy. Do you guys have that one by chance? I would totally buy it from you. All right, well, this has been going around for a while and I'm really not sure this time, I'm really not sure who all has done a video for this. So of course we're gonna cop out and do that open tag, but it's a fun way to kind of encourage any of you mm -hmm. to show us some of the things that you're embarrassed to have in your collection. And hey, come on, after the stuff that we showed off here, you can't be that embarrassed to show it. So nerdlings, we tag you. Yes. Let us know, do you perv, uh, nerd, for <laughs> embarrassing items. And leave some comments down below. Maybe some tasteful comments, if you can. If you can, I understand. I think we better go. Yeah, don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go to Tee Public, hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it, nerdlings. We nerd it. What, what are you doing? You're not supposed to read that right here. Oh my. Oh, oh. Is that a frog? <laughs> <laughs> I never know if it's supposed to go this way or this way. Toby, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, how do you get in that position? Toby, what you doing? Why are you laying on our props? I'll show you later. That's true. The purple stuff here is true. That's the key. Phrasing, boom! <clears throat> Inappropriate. Like this. <laughs> oh! oh no! I'm so sorry! Not again! Not like this! <laughs>